Um, so hi, I'm uh, Matt from Local Legionists. Uh, Local Legionists is the leading property in Europe for luxury private property rental with services. Uh, it means that we have a concierge team also that can offer a chef, uh, a boat trip, uh, yoga teachers, uh, ski champions, uh, trainers, whatever you need. Um, we operate in 30 destinations. Uh, main destinations are France, South East, South West, Spain, the Alps, Greece, um, and after uh, Portugal, Italy, and other destinations. We have some far away destinations also, being uh, San Bart, um, Cape Town, Costa Rica, Tosin Caicos, sort Southern of Islands. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, we are really focused on luxury because the average trade is 30K. Our biggest uh, booking last year was like 3 million euros booking in Verbier. Um, and uh, yeah, we are like 300 people working uh, in eight different offices across Europe. We do believe that being local is quite key for both our customers, the owners and the guests. Um, voilà. Um, so the idea is really to create the first uh, unicorn on this market, uh, at least from a GBV perspective. Um, last year it was 100 million, so we still have some, uh, some work to do. And the target is to do like, uh, about like 500 million in 2026, 350 coming from organic development and 150 million coming from M&A. Um, this is why we raised some money with uh, Highland, uh, which is like a US fund, but uh, um, Europe branch based in the UK, in London, and just to uh, fund our acquisitions. So the idea is like to acquire 20 to 25 companies before 2026. We acquired like six in total uh, before four last year, uh, one of which being uh, the Greek Villas that you covered, thank you so much, uh, was, uh, well, which still is the leading company in Greece. Um, we do believe that being local is the best way to do it. Uh, we see m and as being humble because it's a way to uh, leverage the local expertise and knowing that they will do the job better than us. So most of the time we spot uh, the, um, the acquisition they want to make and after we just give all our resources like uh, properties, uh, uh, teams and, um, and, uh, and clients and of course uh, money to be for them to be able to thrive locally and to become the leader in their market. Maybe, <laughs> I'm so sorry, like, no, we, we can only say it when it's really uh, a done deal, but yes, definitely. Um, we are looking, uh, and that's the reason why also we at Vitour, uh, some of our like, key candidates are property managers uh, who uh, operate in uh, one destination with an uh, amazing portfolio of properties, doing the job also of, most of the time of concierge property managers, sales, and these are the people we want to talk to. Um, okay, yes, um, if you are a property manager, please contact us. It's definitely a good opportunity for both of us. So, um, to be honest, I think it's less readable than before COVID. Uh, uh, before we had like clear uh, uh, booking windows along the year. And now we have, uh, it's a bit more messy with some people booking like uh, a year before uh, to be sure to have like uh, the best product, the best price, uh, the best property. And some of them booking like uh, a week before uh, to be sure that you will be able to travel. And uh, so it really depends, I guess. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit more, um, yeah, it's a bit more like uh, depending on the personality of the guest now. Uh, from a luxury perspective, um, of course, like people are getting uh, younger and younger. It's a new crowd. Uh, I, I guess the, the main difference is the focus on experience and also the focus on tech. Uh, they want to be able to call if they need, but they want to be able to do a booking uh, on the website, by WhatsApp. Uh, so it's just like uh, they're more like uh, tech savvy than uh, our previous customers. But, uh, as, apart from that, they have the same expectations in terms of level of service. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, but to be honest, like the key challenge for the company is integration. Uh, if any, even if you have like uh, a playbook you did, did before, it's really uh, integration is all about like human relationship with uh, 
uh, the founders, the team that you're acquiring, understanding the culture, sometimes working also on the culture gap that you have because you have like different nationalities within the company. So we want to be sure that we create uh, opportunities for them. Um, but uh, it's the main challenge because it's only people and communication and it's, it's something that you will never automate, that you will never IA or chat GPT. <laughs> it's doing the work, being there, understanding uh, the need, the expectations, and uh, it is what makes it like super interesting, but also super challenging. But definitely to be able to speak with these uh, property managers, uh, we did like two acquisitions in Spain last year, but uh, it's, it is something that we want to focus on, and it seemed like a good place to uh, to meet these uh, people.